Hey everyone, it's Ross, and a lot of you guys recently have been asking me when I'm going to be pruning a lot of my trees, and uh, not the fig trees, right? We've already pruned them away for the winter time, but a lot of you have been asking me, what about the trees that are here in pots that are sitting outside? What about the trees that are in the ground, like the espiate peaches here? Even the grapevines on the side, when are you going to be pruning those? Um, well, the short answer is that we've already done quite a bit of pruning videos. Um, we've pruned our jujubes. Um, we haven't pruned the che, but I probably will, maybe even today. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you guys can prune as soon as these things go dormant, right? Like the figs, the uh, pomegranate, the apples. Pretty much into the early winter, you can prune the pears and the apples. You can prune a lot of these shrubs, even the mulberry. Things like the honeyberry you guys can prune kind of right away as soon as they go dormant. Um, you know, just give them some time to get that dormancy going. Things like gumi, things like my gooseberries. Um, you may want to wait here on the kiwi. But everything else that I haven't mentioned, right? Like the kiwi, the grapevine, the stone fruits. A lot of that stuff you want to wait until late winter early spring and the whole reason for that is because in the the stone fruits case like the cherry trees here they're pretty much exposed to disease if you prune them at the wrong time uh, when it comes to the grapevines you don't want to prune them in the winter time because a lot of them are going to take a lot of desiccation damage at least in my climate i don't exactly know why that is but these trees, a lot of this wood here is actually dead. Um, so you're pruning away wood that's already dead. And by pruning it away, you're only increasing the desiccation that could happen. Um, so for me, I'm not really worried about pruning these just yet until pretty much early spring, right? Just before these guys are about to wake up. Um, it really won't take me very long to do all of this, but I think it'll be interesting for you guys, and it's interesting for me too, to prune these espalier peaches because they have such a nice form. It's not really something you're supposed to do, you know, but for the most part, we've done most of our pruning. We, you know, we prune the persimmon as well. We've pruned a lot of things, so just hold tight guys, and uh, this will be coming out soon, and look for it in early spring, all right? Thank you all for watching. Uh, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you guys enjoyed this one. Also, please follow me on YouTube. I know yeah, some of you guys watch my videos quite often, but maybe you're not subscribed. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you for tomorrow's video. And uh, take care, guys. See you tomorrow.